Hey, you! I'm on to you. I know all about you. What's all this for? We was done last week. Why us again? Quit moaning, have I? You! Ow! No! Sorry, Mr. Jackson, just saying hello. Right, that's it. Get this all packed up, get sorted. What you got with you then? Any money, phone cards? Have you got stuff you can trade, have you? Bastards! Very briefly, shut it! such a hurry to nab them when they took off in the helicopter, was ya? I'll tie a yellow river round a big prize dick. I don't know where you want to put them, C wing or D wing. Um. Uh, well, we've two spare pads in C wing, haven't we? We don't. They're starting the plumbing and fixtures, a cell at a time. There's a bit of space in D wing in one of the bigger cells. Maybe you could put in another bunk. It's made of some yet. Uh, no, more is. I think we should put the young bloke, Anthony John Kelly, in D wing. And this old lag, Norman Jones, put him in C wing where we can keep an eye on him. He's a right animal. This radio, according to Simpkins' list of personal belongings, he doesn't have one. A, a radio. It's uh, Walter Brinkley's. You get out of there. He's probably Nixon. What's all this about? We was done last week. Why else again? Quit more, Nari. You got a new pad mate coming in. You know the rules. Right. That's it. 
Get this lot packed up, get sorted. They're putting another bloke in there. Oh, shit. We just have to put it off then. Double up the new inmates, especially the younger ones without any experience or previous record. Yes, but I don't know why you're telling me. Mr. Bunny, I am simply informing you as per instructions from HQ. But well, then is it possible to put in a third one of the larger cells? Yes. Yes, it can accommodate three. Well, for now. Well then, Mr. Stewart. Very much, Mr. Bunny. Oh, I could throttle him, Moira. Since that helicopter escape, he's behaving like a demented ferret. Well, we certainly have made the headlines the last few weeks. Mm. Oh, Princess Diana will love us. <laughs> mm. Okay. Has Mavis arrived yet, or is she planning on becoming part time? One variety pack of cereal. On transistor radio. Recommendation 37! Lloyd said that prisoners should come into line with Europe and Ireland! We give a Christmas home leave on the French color attached. One comb. One row of Did God, do you ever clean it? Wallet. Four pound and twenty-five pence. One cassette tape, empty. One pair of black leather shoes. One plastic lion. <laughs> Prisoner 590, Mr Simpkins, you'll be placed on report for having unauthorised property in your possession. You're bloody joking, aren't you? I was lent the radio. He lent me that radio. Did that prick water sound next to it? You make Brinkley's on report for lending it to you. You're nuts. You mean tight ass bastard! I only wanted to record a program! Hello, what's all that about? He doesn't usually get het up like that. I just found Walter Brinkley's radio in his cell. He's on report for lending it. Hey, take it easy, I mean. Well, it's against the regulations. Yes. Uh, you do what you have to. Workshop's open. But I'm just doing my bloody job. Yes. Now we've got a new inmate coming on the wing. Get 48 ready for occupation. The landings are all as before and identical to C, D, the VP and Segwing's running at present. Gymnasium's well, in the, the same area, private, but they'll be the sides. Hunting. And this area here... Well, to go with those the attached to Bloodlit Astro Turf. Where has it to the tune stops. of one hundred and twenty thousand pounds? If you could just hold the chit chat. This is the SSU maximum security unit. It's different from a control unit. Play me cards, right? You think I'll get a room? The men in SSU, Mr. Morgan, never leave. I want my radio. That is my radio. You took out of Barry's pad. Well, you can't have it. Give me back my radio now or I'll smash your friggin' face in! Get out. Get out of this office! You just pop bastard! You just a fucking cleanness! Oh! 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 oh. I screwed your mother! You dirty, dirty little bastard! Oh! I want my radio! You're a The roof is made of very tough perspex. It is fire, bullet, and bomb proof. Exercise yard, all covered in protective meshing. It'll make our lives a lot easier. Mm, yeah. You mean you approve this? Too damn right. Anyone who works with a real animal will go for this. Our problems always come with the maniacs with no hope of release. Bastards who threaten our lives because they don't give a shit about their own. Best place for them. If you'd been paying attention, Mr. Morgan, 
Everything in this unit is built to contain not necessarily the most hardened criminals, but the high-risk prisoners. Mafia, terrorists. Those who can afford a helicopter. <laughs> you may well laugh, but it's close to the truth. Um, any detail you believe should be incorporated into Barfield, now's the time to tell me, so have a think about it and we'll call that person today. 